Yo, what's up guys? C2 here, and it's Star War time. Or War of the Stars for Once Upon a Time in Berrywood. I'm going to show you guys how to get all of the star pieces and the puzzles in this level. As always, there'll be a map at the end of the video, so you can check that out too. And I'll be skipping all of the cutscenes so you can enjoy the game for yourself. And let's just get right into it. So this level is actually pretty straightforward compared to the other ones. There's not much exploring to do, and it's very linear. But we start off the level by talking to this guy. I like how we're dressed up as Darth Vader. Well, knock off Darth Vader. Some monsters to kill here. The lightsaber is so cool. Hopefully we get a character that uses it as a exclusive weapon. Go ahead to the top. Grab these real quick. And you can actually talk to these guys and turn the lights. So it's shining their light on the ice cubes to melt it. Alright, I'll grab star piece. And in this room, we can talk to the guy in the middle. And he'll ask you to count how many staff there are in this room and the room on the left side. And it's 13. Or at least, I think it's 13. After that, he'll follow you on face break and there are two puzzles here so pick those up all right and two more puzzles behind the little door and we'll head to the right and we'll find ourselves with the lightning counter girl again and this time, instead of a race, there'll be like this mini game that kind of tests your ability to kind of read where the or the fighter jet is heading. The pattern for the fighter jet is the same every time. So just follow it and shoot it. Alright, then we got it. After probably failed 10 times on my alt account when I first tried it, but once you get the pattern down, it's actually pretty easy. Even though I think I have only had like one second left on that try. Doesn't matter, we get our star piece. Alright, cool. And we're pretty much done with that room. We'll just head downwards. Three pieces here. And a little scenario that will play out here. I love how all these cutscenes are parodies of like actual scenes from the movie. Also, I want to mention that the cameraman on the right side that follows you around is pretty, pretty awesome. Anyways, we'll keep going down. More scenarios will play. Right? And remember to get these puzzles and open the door in case there are any backtracking that we need to do and to my knowledge there will be yeah this one is a cutscene heavy level but then again i think all of the braywood one have much more cutscenes than any other levels i've seen before and if you just go in this room you're gonna get flashed by the men in blacks i guess the parody so we have to go in this little secret tunnel and we have to walk quietly behind them and then we'll just talk to them behind their back and you'll be able to grab the star piece all right let's keep going to the right the 
some more pieces here. This one's here too. And our lovely little princess is over here spying on the invaders. Just talk to her real quick and she'll give you a water bottle along with a star piece. Alright, just keep going up. Pick these up too. And we want to step on this. And I really love this uh, George Lucas. George Lucas parody or um, cameo over here. Pretty awesome. Talk to the invader director once again. More scenarios will play. This time you actually get to fight Eugene. A little bit of pushover since it's scripted. I mean, it is a movie after all. Alright, by the way, after that cutscene, you can come talk to George Lucas over here. And he'll give you some pretty cool dialogues depending on what you picked in that little cutscene. And here you can talk to Nicole. She actually got her legs done to get shorter. And we have to lure this Teton to the side. And after that, we'll just talk to Nicole once again. And she'll reward us with a star piece. Alright, we'll grab this. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the Teton out. She's locked in there forever. Alright, just keep going to the right. More monsters in this room. Kill these guys real quick. Put these up. And now we have 48 out of 50. And the last two pieces are in this room. However, I don't think it is possible to pick them up on your first playthrough, so... Unless I'm missing something. We'll just take the director and throw him into the abyss. Alright, and now we're back in the level once again. So this is the reason why you want to really open those doors. Otherwise you will, you'll have to, I guess, go the long way to get the last two star pieces for that 50 for that 50 gems. That's pretty much it for this level. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Feel free to drop me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more Guardian Tale content in the future. And as always, have fun, keep up the grind and take care.